Hey, what's going on everybody? It's DJ Monster here and we've got 36 new and updated mods to take a look at today. For all platforms, we've got 26 new and 7 updates. Two of those updates, by the way, are brand new for console. As well as PC and Mac, we have two new and one update. I make these mod review videos every time mods are released on the official in-game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new around here, that way you never miss any of them. Let's start off today's mods with a couple that are updates for PC players, but they're brand new for console players. This is the John Deere s 700 series we also have the s 600 series as well we'll take a look at that next so as far as change logs this is going to be update version 1.001 console version added of course for all platforms new grain take extension configuration we've got a power fold extension new ladder chains hoses and tank lights added fixed joystick decals scratches improved on the u.s parts they've also got some bug fixes for the missing shaders and just some regular bug fixes all the way around now Let's take a look at the customization for console players. The 700 series actually comes with two different ones. We have the 780, 790. We also have the S760, 770. So you could choose whichever one of those you like, four different engine options. There's gonna be 28 slots no matter what you go with. We've got variable transmissions, 1250 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour max speed at 21 tons. Capacities, well, they change. We're looking currently at the S780 version. So green tank extensions, we've got no tarp cover fixings. We have regular tarp cover, factory foldable extension, big top, factory static, full factory static, tarp cover, fixy factory static, and back and forth. We also have a Mauer big top, full Mauer, full big top, Mauer XL, Harvest Moon, AO, and then we're back down. So we can go anywhere from 10,000 all the way up to about 22,000 liter capacity. That's pretty cool. Wheel brands, we've got Continental, Michelin tires, Midas, and back and forth. All of these do have a regular, a rear wheel assist. We've got some row crops on here as well, at least in the Michelins. A couple different setups through there. Nice big dual tires, some singles if you guys are wanting to rock around with those. We even have some narrow tracks and some full size tracks. And we've even got those ATI tracks that I know you guys like to see on there. Very cool numbers, nothing or one through six on there if you're running a bunch of these. Specifications, we've got North American. We even have Australia as well. I think that adds a wide, uh, wide sign on the back. Yeah, it adds an oversized sign on the back right over there. We also have a South American version as well. Rear hitches, currently we've got nothing, but there's still a hitch back there, I believe. We also have a standard hitch. We have the Lincota. We've got the uh, Lens 620 on there if you want to go to the side or pack to nothing. Of course, 780 and 790 setups. Many, many different pipe options to choose from through here. Just kind of go through, find the ones that you like, and you're good. Rear axis, we have standard. You've also got that rear axis if you need something a little bit bigger. Chopping tailboards, we've got a couple different ones of those, so choose the ones you like. And of course, what the K-Bot sucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, it is here now for all, well, it's here now for console players. I think it was uh, right before Christmas that these released for PC players, but... I'm glad to see them here for everybody. We also have the S600 series as well. Now you're gonna see very, very similar customization options as far as wheels and everything. The biggest changes are going to be to the engines and to the grain tank extensions. So we could take a look at a couple of the grain tank extensions for the 680, 690 series right here, as you can see. We have some that are exactly the same. However, those capacity numbers are gonna be, uh, I'd say a little bit lower, but they seem to be pretty on par with everything. So there's that. We got the 680 uh, from 2012 and 2015 and the 690 from 2012 and 2015. And of course, we have extremely similar versions right here to the 550 and the 670. That's no mistake, 550 and 670. So if you want something a little bit smaller, I mean, 106 or $76,000, there you go for this. Not terrible, 31 slots for you guys. These are cool. I know a lot of you have been waiting on them. Check them out. All right, making our way into full new mods for all platforms. We have the Fin Favorite 500. Now, I've been waiting on this. I love the modified version of this, so let's take a look at it. We've got a 115 horsepower engine to start with. We have a manual plus power shift, so pretty standard stuff. 210 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour, 5.7 tons. So far, so good for the base game version. We also have a 14 slot count on this one as well. Will Brands, Trello Borg. Michelin tires, Continental, Midas, BKT, Rise Down, Knock In. Back and forth between all of those. I don't think you're going to be finding any tracked options, though that would be pretty cool. Beacon lights, we've got none. We've got one on the left. Both of them 
We've also got a beacon number two, and then no beacon lights at all. Number plates, we've got a lower position, so let's pull around towards the uh, back. Uh, I don't know what that's changing. Is that changing anything in the front? I'm not seeing anything change right now, so if you guys see anything, uh, just post about it and let me know. Carpets on the inside, you've got none. You've got yes, so you can throw a carpet, or you've got the rubber floor in there. Exhaust cover, we've got a black exhaust cover. You can do chrome if you want to. Terminal holder inside, you've got nothing. Okay, there it is. I was about to say, uh, you continue to have nothing. It appears that... Well, okay, so there's a few right down there at the bottom right-hand corner. Um, if you want to go in, you've got a couple different styles, but then fortunately, there's no terminals that are added just the holders themselves attachers we've got a front pto or no front pto choose whatever you like through there front loader attacher no quickie hour and then back and forth engines we've got a 515 120 we've got a 140 and 115 horse or 150 horsepower engine no extra engine options here like we saw in farming simulator 19 and that one i think we had like 180 or 190 horsepower engine that's pretty cool to see, but not here. We do, however, get that color, the beautiful, beautiful Petro Blue. You've got all of the colors you would expect to see from an old fence, so check those out. Even rim colors, we've got red, you've got black, you've got a gray, and a beige. Of course, we've got your number plate. If you've been looking for a class header that's gonna make life a little bit easier for you, I think we've got you covered with the MLOD98 Class Vario Pack. Now, I originally thought that this was gonna be coming with a Combine Harvester. The answer to that is, nah, not didn't. But we do have six different headers to take a look at here. Uh, no customization options, it looks like, for any of them. So just a heads up there, uh, you've got one that's 5.6 meter, 6.8, 9.3, 10.8, 12.3, and 13.8 meters. You can choose kind of whatever you like. They do have combinations that are suggested. However, it uh, looks like we've got a Lexian for one of them, two of them, and then back and forth. So you can click that and be good to go. Now, I will tell you, if you go over here to the 10.8, we've got one very similar to that that is base for the Tryon. So heads up. Oh yeah, and slot counts, they range between five and seven slots, depending on which one you go. Next, we got a really cool one for you. This is the Lizard Platform Trailers from Hispano Modding. We've got four different ones. We've got uh, basically an 85, 100, 115, and 130 models. Look at this thing. It holds 42 bells, by the way, as well. Absolutely massive. The largest auto-loading bell trailer that we've got in the game. As far as these goes, they'll do 125, 150, or 180 centimeter round bells, and it'll do 180, 220, and 240 centimeter square bells. We'll also do the baby bell, massive bell that holds 14 of them. We'll just take a look at one of these because there's a lot of them. They're going to be four, five, and six slots each, depending on which one you go for. This version right here, the biggest of all of them. Wheel Brands, Trelleborg, BKT, Continental, Michelin, Nucky, and Friedstein tires. Whole lot of stuff through there. Can we get some 404s? <laughs> yes, we can. Designs, we got standard. Throw an extension on the front, throw one on the back. You could do angled extensions on there as well. Front, back angled, go back and forth, and standard again. Automatic bell loading, yes or no. The automatic bell loading is free, so that is nice to see. Also, at the bottom right there, you can see we've got some... I'm not sure what you would want to call those. I guess they're... Uh, Ramps? Yeah, that's the real word to use. Uh, if you go with an auto-loading version, they don't come with the ramps. However, if you do go with the non-auto-loaded version, these will go on the back, and you can use this as a transport trailer for whatever you want. That's really, really cool. We're just going to stick with no for now. A couple of configuration. We have a normal hitch for the pin in the front. You've got a low ball hitch as well, so you can do anything you want through there. Do we have extra hitches in the back? I does appear that we do a normal pin hitch on the back so you can hook a bunch of these up if you want to main color starts as green but we've got basically every single color under the rainbow personally i would probably go for an onyx black so we'll go with that here design color this is going to be looks like just the piece on the back and quite possibly not the uh, bell pieces okay so just the piece in the very back and then room color of course we know what that's going to be we'll change that up to yellow right there and naturally we got the license plate these are super cool. Again, 28, 32, 36, and 42 bell limits. 
you definitely want to go with the big one. Next up is the Trans 70 trailer. This is going to be a normal tipper trailer to push back as well. So if you don't want one that tips up, this will do that, which is very nice. The back will also lift off the ground. Uh, so it's kind of like a cross between the AgriLiner and the... Uh, uh, Annaberger holds 70,000 liter capacity. Will Brands, Trello Borg. We've also got Michelin tires on here as well. So back and forth. Those are the only ones. Would be very nice to see more of those. Main color, we've got a whole lot. One that looks like nitro blue to me. I know that blue. Uh, but we've got also other colors as well if you want to. One thing, it is shiny. If we go up here and take a look at this, everything's going off of it. So you may like that, you may not. Just know that in advance. And then of course, We've got all our standard stuff here. Let's get some chrome wheels on there. The two base game star trailers are also back. You've got the Ninja 33,000 and the 19. Uh, as far as I can tell here, there is no difference whatsoever from these to the 19 version. So it appears to be a direct port over. As far as the main one, 33,000 liter capacity, 210 horsepower required. That's going to be your normal auger wagon crops, and so is the Star Ninja right here. Uh, the logo seems maybe a little bit blurry, but otherwise, not too bad. 19,000 liters on this one. From Black Sheep Mining, get out of the fields and get working. You got the John Deere HX20. Now, we do have a couple wheel brands for this, but basically, what is this? It is a mower. It's got a 75 horsepower requirement as a 6.2 meter working width, as you can see down at the bottom. Everything is just kind of hanging out, doing its thing, but this will get some big time work done. Wood Brands, John Deere, Midas Tires, back and forth between those, lighting system, yes or no? I'm trying to find where we put the lights at. Aha, uh -huh. lights are on the very, very back. There's gonna be turn signals and brake lights, very cool. And then you could do mulcher or not. So you can use this as an actual mulcher if you need to do that, get your extra 2% or no, and you can just use it as a regular mower. Either way, you're good to go. Four slots on console. Also from Mloading 98 today we have their John Deere 2 or 622X header. Uh, this is basically identical to the one that we've got base game. However, this is smaller. So if you need one that's just a little bit smaller for your T560, this will be the one to go for. This is 6.7 meters versus 7.6. Not a whole lot to say about this next one. <laughs> this is from Adub Monic. I see you, man. This is the Lemkin D24 Plow. 10 horsepower, one meter width at nine miles per hour. If you guys are looking for a small plow, it's only gonna be one slot for you. Maybe you wanna do some, uh, <laughs> make things a little bit difficult on you well this will be the way to go for logging fans out there nico 73 modding's got the stepa fhl 13 ak for you guys it's going to be three slots on consoles trailer board and continental bkt wheels you can change this up a little bit as well which is very nice to see design we have a wood configuration we've also got a bell configuration because you can use this to pick up bells you can see that the extensions go on there to the crane you can use this as a bell loading wagon if you want to do it that way, which is very different and I think kind of cool. If whatever you got's too light and you need to add some weight, well, we've got 1,250 kilograms of it for you to add right here. This is the Lizard 1250 kg weight. This is from Pet, P-E-T, right there. Uh, this is going to be with or without a trailer hitch on there. Main color, you can change that, ooh, bright blue. It's kind of Carolina blue a little bit. That was looking good. And then you can change the color of the hitch as well. It's going to be one slot. Next, we've got the offset mass holder. Now, this is a weight at the end of the day, 1.2 tons, and you can change up the color. We'll just go with a nice beige right here. And you can see we've got a little push bit in the front. Now, we've got the, uh, the hydraulic weight adapter and weight. Uh, unfortunately, both of these are backwards. <laughs> so you got that. Uh, this also weighs 1.2 tons. Uh, uh, trying to figure that one out. Anyway, this is a three-point hitch on it. You throw a weight on the front. What this is, you can see down straight through inside. This is going to zoom out from the front of your tractor or the back where you've got it hooked up. And it is going to extend the center of mass forwards or backwards, whichever way you're pushing it. That way you've got a little bit more stability when you're trying to move stuff around or maybe less stability if you're trying to mess with somebody. Either way, if you need to add, uh, maybe not add more weight, but increase stability, this might be what you want to get. I may invest in this for my Massey 8700 on Comsden because it's a little bit unstable. Next, we've got a few from Alien Gen. This is the placeable vehicle pack, and I'm showing pictures of this because, oh my goodness, there are a ton 
ton. As you can see from these screenshots, you've got all kinds of stuff from cars, trucks, tractors, old vehicles. You've even got a, a wheel loader and <laughs> It's so much stuff in here, even a big trailer. These are for decorating your farms. Can't use these or anything like that, but it is nice to see. They range from $1,500 to $5,500, depending on what you got. And they say it's a variety of old scrapped and abandoned vehicles, as well as parked vehicles for placing as decoration. You can find them in decorations and other. Additionally, he has this placeable objects pack. Now, this one's got over 90 objects in it for decorating your farms, villages, towns, whatever you want. He does say that most objects are placed in free mode, so make sure that you uh, enable free mode before placing things down be able to place them down a little bit easier. These range from $2 all the way up to $3,000. And we've got all kinds of stuff, little boxes and openings and generator, rocks, all kinds of stuff. These are gonna be perfect for literally anybody. And the third pack from Jim today is gonna be the Placeable Buildings Pack. Now there's a variety of over 30 different buildings that are good in seasons or not however you wanna do them. You can build little villages with these, or you can build a large town with these if you really want to. Prices are between $1,000 and $12,000 per item and as you can see from these screenshots there's a ton of stuff maybe you want to put down a shop or something like that they're going to be perfect for you so definitely check these out if you're really into building stuff like that you know, this is what you want next you've got what's called my cow pasture but it's not mine this is a large cow pasture with animation of lights doors made of galvanized structure and sheet metal this will hold 490 cows a little bit laggy around it but that's all right uh, it's a 70 meter by 50 meter. It is massive. If you guys remember, uh, think back just for a little while. Think back to Oregon Springs in Farming Simulator 17. That's what this is, right? I, I swear that's what this is. It looks exactly like it. Gates are in the same places. Stuff like that. Regardless, food's going to go right smack dab in the middle, as you can see right there. We've got our milk input here. Cattles can be picked up right there. Water goes there, so you will have to give them water. And of course, the almighty slurry can be collected right here. Next is the grain storages pack. This is gonna include three different pieces. We've got a carport as well as two concrete buildings. One's a double and one is not. So you can see right here with the grain storages, it's gonna be 55 grand. Smallest one here, 35. And then we've got your carport here for 15. Now, if we go around here, I gotta figure out exactly where the doors are because I just kind of threw them beside each other. So here we go, here's our first one, very large. These are made for putting in your grain. So if you don't wanna use a silo and you wanna throw things on the ground, well, this is going to be what you're gonna use. And I think these are done very, very well. Love the concrete design as well. So this one, a little bit different. Now this may look familiar because we had this in Farming Simulator 19 as well. So you come around here, your grain goes right over there. So that's nice to see, coming around here, do your thing, do, 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 do. But what's this? Will this do anything? Nah, uh, unfortunately it's not a silo. It's just kind of a acting as a silo, I guess. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I think it looks cool. Again, love the like unfinished concrete of this. Looking great. We've also got some old silos. These are called the low cost silos. They've got four different pieces. You have two silo extensions and two silos here on the left hand side. We have the regular silo and the silo extension and on the right hand side a little bit bigger you've got the multi-fruit so that is nice to see as well as you can see from the very top which is a little bit different a little bit bigger not using the same stuff so that is nice to see if you go in your silos you're going to be able to find these in here fortunately we don't have too many yet there we go so thirty thousand dollars for your regular grain silo holds a million liters and then a one million liter multi-fruit now this is probably going to fill up pretty quickly if you save as much stuff as i do so you will need to get these grain silo extensions these are nice ten thousand dollars for half a million that's cool and get this multi-fruit silo extension half a million liters right and it is multi-fruit you can throw this on any silo you want doesn't have to be this one i could put it on the base game silo if i wanted to and it gives you that extra amount in multi-fruit. It's nice to see that. I like that. From Black Sheep Mining, we have their old manure heap. And it's heaps. Uh, I'm glad they didn't put the word pack on there. I think we hear that enough. You can see we've got five different ones on here. We'll go ahead and take a look at them in the store real quick. You can find these buildings. And it's silos. And here's going to be the first one. Five million liters. We got a three million liter capacity. A two million liter. 
and then one and a half for the left side and one and a half for the right side. So that is very, very cool to see. Of course, you can come through here. It'll tell you exactly how much manure you've got and you can take it out whenever you want. But if you've got a big cow pasture, you're gonna want this one. Holds four, no, sorry, five million liters of manure. You're not gonna have to empty that for a little while. Love it. If you're like me, I look in the mirror and I see someone who needs bigger sheds. And DH Monic thought the same thing, so they have released their ESC <laughs> large sheds. Oh my goodness, these things are insanely big. You can find these in sheds, of course. You've got hay shed, hay shed, and hay shed. Something tells me these were translated. Uh, prices are going to be super cheap: forty thousand, thirty-five, and thirty, respectively. So that is great to see. We'll just kind of do a little bit of a fly in and out right here looking very very good high quality textures on all of this looking really really fresh coming around through here so you've got one version that's got kind of one side one's got two sides one's got no sides so you can choose however you want did i see a light controller over there i sure did so you can change your lights as well that is awesome man these things are big the words might be out of order but the nostalgia sure isn't vehicle shelter metal is <laughs> metal vehicle shelter is what it's called ideal for your farms if you're a black sheep modding fan yeah you've got some openings in here as well which are translated through especially when you walk under it nice and shady but it is quite bright under here as well i love that this is from Black Shoe Modding. I think originally this shed came out in Farm Sim 17, 15 maybe? Uh, and they have brought it back. I believe in the last game, Ada Modding was in charge of bringing these over and he brought over a whole mess of them. But I don't, I don't know. Ada, are you, you still doing a pack of these? Let me know. <laughs> wind water turbine. Kidding, it's water wind turbine. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Nico's Picks. That's a metal water tower. Probably going to be $2,300 for you guys. Uh, you can get your water from here, but also, I think you can get your water from here. Uh, in, in addition, you've also got a daily maintenance of 5 bucks and income per month, $480. So, if you're like me uh, and you like money coming in, but you maybe don't want to cheat too much, not when people are watching anyway, this may be what you want to go for. This one may be a little bit more difficult to find, but it's super easy. Go into production, go into generator, and you'll find it right here. If you're getting deja vu, so am I. The modern hay storage. This is from Dulort. This is 250,000 liters. Uh, so half as much as the old one that we got. Price is $90,000, 40 bucks per day. And the name is Modern Hay Storage. So at least they got that part right. Go into silos, you're gonna find it right here, Hayloft. Uh, oh wait, hang on, that's the other one. This is, this is the one. Oh, I put two on top of each other. Oh, no, 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 back away. Uh, but you can see how the, uh, the issue could be trying to figure out which one is which. Uh, this one has yellow markings. The one that we got yesterday does not. So obvious. Uh, anyway, I will not complain about having multiples of the same mods. Not like this. Uh, however, just, you know, be aware. Actually, this one holds half as much as that one does. So it's probably pretty obvious which one to choose, I think. Here's the one that I'm so excited about. This is the production packs, also from the Lord. So the one that... Uh, Lord... Uh, I don't want to get that one wrong. Uh, we've got three different ones. On the left, we have pig food production, forage production in the middle, and on the right, silage production. Let's take a look at these and see exactly what they are up to. So you can see here at the bottom, pig feed production. If we click into here, we can see we need a thousand liters of chaff. So pig feed needs chaff. How cool is that? You've also got 500 liters of potatoes and 500 liters of sugar beets. This is much different than the way we have made pig food in the past, at least than I can imagine. Well, how do you make pig feed? Oh yeah, it's all different kinds of crops and grains and stuff. Anyway, this one's not, and I love this. Also. The forage, it's a forage. Uh, this is another one that takes a lot of your stuff. So only use this if you really, really want to lose stuff. I mean, look at this. A thousand liters of silage, 500 hay, a thousand liters of mineral feed, a thousand liters of mineral feed. Uh, normally it's like two liters and then you've got 500 liters of straw and that turns into 1000 liters of TMR. 
Uh, you're getting robbed blind here. You're throwing in 3000 and you're getting a third of it back out. I'm not saying don't use this, but use your brain. And then we've got production chaff. Uh, this will take chaff and turn it into silage. So this is similar to uh, the one that we got a few days ago that I'm actually using right now. I think it's about a week ago that we got this now. Nonetheless, uh, chaff in, silage out, pretty quick does 48 cycles per uh, day and get or per month rather so you're getting 48,000 liters per day to be able to change over not a lot but it's it's enough this next mod might just save your life in in the game that not in, not in real life i didn't say that out loud uh we've got the use of leftovers now they just look like silos right three normal silos beside a pigs and cattle well, these are interesting because with these, you can fill them with like wheat, sorghum, oats, normal grains, normal grains. And when you tip them in, they magically turn into silage or chaff rather. They turn into chaff, which you can then mash, mash down and do your thing. How cool is it's magic? It's, it's magic. If you want to find these, go into silos and go to the very, very end. You got three different sizes right here. It doesn't say what the capacity for these is, which would have been nice to have, but as you can see, uh, place them down and they will snap together as well, which I'm just now seeing. So that's kind of cool. If you want to make like a whole mess of bunkers together or something like that, uh, you can get a little snapping action going on. DH Modding also brought us the BR Water Tank for our next to last new mod for all platforms today. This can be found in the category containers. Price could be 20 grand for each of these, 10 bucks per day, so not too bad. And they are water tanks. They're very modern looking as well. I really, I mean, really like these. Uh, simplicity looking fresh. Now we did get a water tank or something like that, similar to the one here on the left. Not exact though. Uh, these are looking good. You want to find them? Again, go into buildings, go into containers. You'll find them right here. And your last new one for all platforms today is the Decorative Rock Pack. This pack contains rocks from the ravine in Elm Creek or, or in Elmgrad. So the rocks come in various sizes. They are 50 bucks each. Uh, and the reason that I'm not showing them you in game and in because I can't figure out which ones are alien gems and which ones are not or if i can even find these or not so just heads up uh the download maybe these only find them and then you're good to go from there as was mentioned we have seven mod updates for all platforms today we've already shown two of them at the beginning of the video however our next one is the old stream farm yes it is here we talked about it farm subdues and i released that video after this was already out i'm so sorry this is change oak version 1.001 and it's a lot by the way uh, just check out that video and you're good to go Go. There's some things where you need a new game save for, some things where you don't need a new game save for. Uh, so just be aware of that. Fix the problem with the impossibility of placing fences on the farm. Fix the farm grain silo, pile of dirt in the restaurant removed. You do need a new game save for that. Invisible wall in the fence, workshop fixed, remove the siren in the village. I know a lot of people were complaining about that. Also, all train crossings have been fixed with the car collisions. Traffic speed has been fixed. Pedestrians have been fixed. The problem with selling silage bells at the BGA, if you don't have the BGA owned, is fixed. New save game required for that as well. Farm grain silo bin trigger is now lower. The correction of the Cody store icon, or sign rather. Each group of the farm decoration items can be sold in separate groups. New save game required. Uh, you get this, just download a new save game there's a lot more if you guys want to check it out go onto the mod hub and see the new update but if you're playing on this everybody's gonna update anyway i highly request i highly recommend rather that you use a new game save and an update to the water fountains pack from puma 145 however this is showing as version one i don't i don't know the the, the water fountains give you water <laughs> that's all i know uh there's two of them in it i thought we already had these oh uh, check it out. It's an update. And an update to the Avant series. It's going to be Changelog version 1.1.0.1 Winter. Uh, added Snowblower 1500 and some optimizations. We also have an update to the New Holland SP400F Changelog version 1.1 configurations. We got main color, rim color, beacon lights, and decorative beacon lights. Does that mean they don't work or they work too well? 
Oof, I don't know. All right, and your last update today for all platforms, the powerful Spotlights Pack version 1.0.1 added high altitude mono for Switch or automatic 180 degree lighting and added the half altitude mono with Switch or automatic for 180 degree lighting. We do have a couple new mods for PC and Mac players today, so let's take a look at those real quick. The first one is field leasing. Do you not have the money to buy the fields? Well, no problem. Let's simply lease some. At the beginning of the lease period, you have to pay 2% of the purchase price for the administration, etc. After that, you have daily fees. You can lease plots in the in-game menu. Note that a plot can have several fields and the field number does not have to be the plot number. So be careful about which one you're selecting. And your only other mod today, new one for PC and Mac, is the Wood Harvester Manual Cutting. With this mod, the tree is not automatically cut after delimbing. You need to press the cut button again. And your last mod today is gonna be an update for PC Mac players to the Power Tools mod. Now, before we take a look at this one, you probably already have this update. However, go ahead and get this version right here. This is version 1.2, new added option to spawn logs. Fix should now be possible to use fill vehicle on vehicles with hidden fill units, so trucks with liquid tank, things like that, and a fix for the field type names, now properly translated when filling the vehicle. This update has been out for a little while now. Uh, it's been available on their website. We shared it on Farm Sim News, and I've had this update for, I don't know, it feels like two or three weeks at this point. You probably have as well, but go ahead and update. That way you've got the most current version. Well, guys, that is it for today's mod video. It only took me an hour to record this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Get subscribed if you're new and join the GoHand fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way you never miss daily farming simulator videos or mods here on the channel. If you have any questions about any of these mods, let me know down in the comment section below. And also make sure you check out today's farm sim news. Some big important information in there you're going to want to know. Otherwise, hope you have a great day and a great weekend. We'll see you later. Peace.